Hmm, I wonder what's on TV. Nah, I don't want to watch that. Change the channel. Welcome back to the not so new but slightly improved Zekland Achievement Hall. We have completed the stairs. I think I'm still going to do something with the lighting. I'm not too sure about the torches. But we've got the, the half slabs all the way down, the stairs in the ceiling. Down at the bottom here, we've done a fair bit of work. These pillars are a lot more chunkier now. But when I started building them, I didn't have the, the corner stairs, but I do now. So I put a few of them in. And it kind of looks cool. So I left them. And the staircase on this side, we've got this nice big bright green wall. That's, uh, where do we make that? MCM. The green marble, which is what this is. Cactus green and white marble. White marble is just bone meal, gravel, and clay. We have the Zekland mural in the back wall. We put uh, MCM stone 2 all along the back here. I'm not sure what I'm going to do here, but this. Uh, four wide wall section here is kind of matching that four wide stair section over there. All of the little alcoves have been complete. The upstairs ones are identical, the downstairs ones are well, different to the upstairs ones, but they're identical to each other. And this one here is the reason why we're here today, aside from showing off all of the, the work that's been done. And I have some red wool. I'm not sure how much of this I'm going to need. So, oops, not that one. We'll just make a bunch of stuff. I think that should do. And now to get started. There, yeah, 300. Nice red wool. This is to represent our 300 sub giveaway. That was meant to be a capitalist. That was not really in an episode. Oops, not 46. Where did that come from? But we're going to call it 65.5 because it was between 65 and 66. And we had three winners. Winner, Davy D. We had winner and K is 11 and I have to crouch to actually write on signs in these stones. Winner kid that is gaming. There we go. Represent our 300 subs and our three winners. Congrats you three. Now we're going to head back to the mob grinder. And on the way back to the storage room and the mob grinder, I remembered I was going to show you this in its finished state. So I added the rails up around the top, a nice bit of a ceiling or uh, roof up there for when it's raining and you want to get outside without getting wet. And we've got quite a few decorations in here. We've got a bookcase some books. We've got all the different saplings that I have currently collected, except for the jungle and the pine trees, which has got some pretty fancy colours going. And this is a bibliocraft desk, and I can put books on there. And I can put a book over here, and you see it's over there. And put it back here, and it appears there. That one in the middle is the open one there. And I've completely forgotten how to make them. Let's have a look. Set item to be a desk. Yeah, feather, torch, and some wood. And I end up with one of those. And I put some paintings on the walls. This is the lumberjack's hut, so he gets some axes for his lumberjacking. He has another desk around here. I didn't really know what to do with this little area. This bit's his bedroom with the ladder to the roof. Where he can see everything except what's on the other side of these walls. But we know what's over there anyway. Oh yeah, forgot the stairs. 
There's a staircase just there. Let's go back inside. This is maintenance access. Walk down here and now you're under here. Which still has a lot of torches. I still need to get a nice amount of glowstone from the nether. Alright, I'm back down under here. As you can hear, we've got some friends upstairs. But before I get this thing started, is that my right pick? Yes, it is. I actually want to move these off the ground. Because they're creating shadows in the next level down. So, how am I going to make them stay where I want them to? A bit of wood, I guess. Up there. Do I have an axe on me? I do! Marvellous. There. And this is probably also creating a shadow on the ground, but I don't know what to do about that. Maybe that's going to be where the, the chandelier is. Let's have a look. I think... I think it's that one. These ones would be the battery boxes. Which eventually will be moved. Oh, I should check this too while I'm here. Sharpness 3. Not bad. I am running out of space. I need to get this library done at some point soon. But before I do that, I want to get this going. Just so I can make sure that my wood supply is up to the challenge. Can I reach it from anywhere? No, I have to get down here. I suppose I can get this going now anyway, while I'm doing this. Let's just throw a fur log in. Only seven rubber wood. It must be waiting on something else. If I take that out, that'll shoot in. Yeah, that's some some pine wood. I've let the system run for a while. And this side is doing pretty well. It's stacked up on charcoal. It's still got a bit of wood. As you can hear, things are dying because this generator's working. This one somehow ended up with a bow. Okay. Uh, that almost filled. That one did too, so this side's going as well. But it could be better. There's another bow. I'm going to have to look into where those are coming from. I think the sorting system is not sorting as well as it could be. You see that there's only got three charcoal in it. This one's not getting very much wood at all. But these sides are going alright. And the more I looked at the system, the more I realized I didn't really like the the diamond pipe setup. Because diamond pipes are the, the dumb pipes, pretty much. Now try to put it into a container, and if they can't, they'll just pop it out on the ground. I'd much rather use relays and pneumatic tubes. Now the idea, idea there is comes out of the wooden pipe into the relay, which will go here, except that's facing the wrong way. No, nope, I'm just going to break it and put it down the right way. There. And then it goes into either the furnace or the generator. And that should work fine. Provided I can place them all. There we go, yep. That'll work. Yeah, that'll do exactly what I need it to. So it'll either fill this up, or it'll fill this up, or it won't do anything. And what I wanted to do was put ender chests on the end. So if it can't fill, or if this is already full, or this and this is already full, it then puts it into the ender chest and sends it somewhere else. I'll have to do that on all sides, but I also need to look into, I think, maybe a bit faster wood generation. 
As most of these are burning, that one's not. Put some charcoal in there. So we are getting some supply. I should go upstairs and have a look at how the, the mobs are actually looking. Yep, they're stacking up. Maybe if they're on the right side, but... We definitely need to get more wood going through. I think I might also shut off the auto charcoal smelting at the... the little black hut. I don't really have a name for it. That'll definitely give me more wood here. That'll be a good start, I think. Hey, melon! There's another thing I need to do something about, actually. Where are you going today? In here. You ready for this? Wow, I wasn't ready for that. Last I looked, these two rows were completely empty. That was only about ten minutes ago. Yep, so I think I need ender storage for the... Actually for chicken as well, because I don't have one for that. And the eggs. That's what all this is, so... I should probably start transferring things into here and using this pretty soon. Don't know what to put in there yet, though. All there. I'll think of something. How many spots is that? 3 by 4 That's 24. 24 slots. Oh, and another 4 there. That's weird. Why is there a crowbar on there? Crowbar and coal coke. Melon and pumpkin. I do not remember putting them there. But the melon and the pumpkin can probably go in these ones. Probably need to find a killer turkey. I think the rest of those should have something in them. Yeah. I think I'll do that. I'll definitely do that off camera, but I think I'll do the wood first to get this working a bit better. So I've been doing some work up on the storage rearranging deep storage units. I thought I'd come down here and check, and it seems my sorting system is not sorted. Leather boots do not belong in an iron furnace. So, obviously it's uh, not working the way I want it to. I'm going to have to completely redo that as well. But that's alright, I have all sorts of things I can do with it. Also, I forgot that you can put things in the top of a bat box and charge them. And the grinder is putting rotten flesh in there. If I take it out, it's just going to put something else in there. So, as long as they all have rotten flesh in them, I'm okay. But uh, some of these had ender pearls in them before. Yeah, I just gotta wait on this one. Now that generator is almost full. The battery box is doing well. So things are working. But I'm kind of worried about what's happening over at the auto smelting. As if these had bows and. Look at that, gold boots. And it's quite possible that the auto smelting also has something that doesn't smelt. So I'm going to finish off the storage system, I'm going to completely demolish the sorting and start up a new system, probably using diamond pipes because they're more reliable than what these these item routers are. This one here is auto smelting. Anything that goes in there does actually end up up there, which is actually not set up right because I don't really want the dust to go up there. But as you can see, no gold boots. Gold boots should be going out the gold one. But maybe because they're enchanted they don't count? Or they're getting sorted differently? I don't know. So I'm going to have to fix that. And I don't know how long it's going to take me to rearrange my storage. I do have quite a few deep storage units. But I'll do all of that off camera. And the next time you see it, it should be a lot more organized and not sitting all out in the middle of everything.